Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Carly K. Glam, and I am here today, 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 to give you a review of, well, actually it's not even a review. It's just my thoughts on episode seven. They came on last night. All American Homecoming, let me tell you something. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. They already previewed the trailer for season 2B. And it is not coming out until 2023, which, mind you, I think it's going to be coming out sometime in the beginning of January. So if it come out the first or second week of January, that's the thing. That'll be it. And the whole season probably will end up on Netflix by summer. But anyway, so I just want to talk about four things. I want to talk about the conversation Simone had with Layla. I want to talk about Damon and Thea, of course. I want to talk about Lando and the tape. And last but not least, what I think is going to happen so, I'm just going to start out with Simone and Layla. I've been seeing a lot of chatter on Twitter um, in terms of, you know, whether or not Simone had the right to be mad at Layla. And this is just my opinion. I'm sure nobody cares. Um, I think Simone absolutely had the right to be mad at Layla. One. Two, I think that... Um, this conversation should not have been had on Homecoming. It definitely should have taken place on All American. Number three, <laughs> um, everybody was saying that um, Simone was emotionally cheating on Dame, um, emotionally cheating on Jordan with Damon. And even though that may be true, Simone acknowledged her feelings for both Jordan and Damon. She realized that she was in a relationship with Jordan. And that they had been in a serious relationship. And she also told Jordan about it. And then followed up by distancing herself from Damon. While she was in a relationship. All the long while, even though she, she was emotionally falling for someone else, she still respected Jordan. We can't say the same about Jordan. Jordan knew that he was falling for Layla. And when Simone tried to have a conversation about Jordan, I mean, try to have a conversation with Jordan about such, Jordan didn't necessarily keep it 100 with Simone. He said there was nothing going on with Layla, even though there necessarily may not have been, but he did actively pursue Layla. And then when Simone broke up with him, he tried to act all devastated. And then if I recall correctly on that same episode, Jordan was with Layla and Simone. I mean, well, she was with Layla, Liv, and Spencer that night and was like, yeah, I want Layla. So he just literally moved on fast like nothing ever happened with him and Simone. We didn't get the whole processing of the breakup between him and Simone, like how um, Simone did. Simone ain't been with nobody since she broke up with Jordan. And if she has, it's just been entanglements. It ain't been no serious, like no serious relationship or whatever with anybody. She hasn't shared her feelings with anybody. She hasn't done any of that with anybody. So that's where, you know, weird things happen. So yeah, sorry y'all. I got distracted. Somebody was walking by. But yeah, that's where I feel like the difference was I feel like it was definitely nice I guess for Layla to approach Simone with the conversation because any y'all I mean any end Layla wouldn't have approached Simone if she didn't care for Simone one and if she didn't care for Simone's feelings two and if she didn't know what was going on was technically trifling. Sorry. <laughs> but um, she did have the decency to have a conversation with Simone about it. And um, I saw that Simone didn't necessarily react in the kindest regard in the beginning, which, you know, who can blame her? But you just have to give some people time to process things sometimes. 
like Simone said, she know that the vortex is a thing. So, you know, that makes everything pretty much messy all across the board. Did Layla get upset when Liv did the same thing to her with Spencer? Absolutely. But I think the, the circumstance is a little bit different because from the beginning, Layla knew that Liv wanted Spencer, but Layla actively pursued Spencer anyway. And that's the difference, regardless if they was in a relationship or not. And I don't think Spencer ever did anything with Liv until that whole kiss situation. And technically, when they did kiss, Liv, I mean, Layla and Spencer were not together anyway. She was trying to get back with Spencer. So that's why I feel like the situations are a tad bit different. Um, two... I said last week in my video that I think, well, that I thought that Lando leaked the tape and come to find out I was absolutely right. But it's just the fact that like Lando was like Simone judged him. Simone judged him for leaking the tape. And I'm like, duh. Because if you did something like that to somebody, your own teammate, that means that you're capable of doing that to somebody else you're capable of doing anything to anybody else think about it that's that question is, that makes you question a person's character she was going to ask lando about it in the beginning of the episode but she decided not to because i guess she felt like it wasn't her place but when lando questioned her about layla which you know lando questions someone about everything so i don't necessarily think he was wrong about questioning um Simone about the whole little situation because it did happen right in front of him and he was just curious but at the same time like I guess she was trying to check him for saying like how could you ask me something when you're the one who released the footage on Damon and I'm just thinking like back to what people were saying last week the recruit honestly had no reason to lie he had nothing to lose he was just on the school on a visit why would he lie about something like that when he went to Hawkins himself Met with the team himself, and they told him that information. Um, sorry, y'all. I just lost my train of thought. But, yeah. As far as Lando leaking the tape, I figured he had leaked the tape. And I figured it had something to do with Coach Shaw as well. Because if I remember correctly, in last week's video, I said that um, Coach Shaw wanted Damon to come to Brinkston. But Coach Shaw ended up doing something shiesty and left Brinkston. So, Lando said the only reason why he leaked the tape is because he knew that there was only one way legally he could leave Hawkins and come to Brinkston. Because his main goal from the beginning was to be at Brinkston in the first place. But he said that Damon caused him to lose his spot because he was an MLB prospect. So, yeah. So, now this is really about to get messy because there is a love triangle between Simone, Damon, and Lando. Damon and Simone are in yet another love triangle. Um, but this time, Simone's not in a relationship with anybody. Nobody involved is in any, in any relationships. Now, something in me still doesn't particularly trust Lando. I know all the girls are gawking over Lando, and it's fine as he is. I feel like I can't trust him. I feel like Damon has showed himself noble from the beginning. Sorry, y'all. People outside having a conversation. I thought if I came to the car, I could record in silence, but people want to come outside and eat lunch. Okay? Like, what? Anyway, and I kind of got my window cracked. I don't know if people can necessarily hear me while I'm recording, but <laughs> that's just the facts of recording your car. But, um, in who's in. Yeah, I don't trust, I don't trust Lando. I don't trust Lando at all. And the thing is, sliding into this whole thing with Simone and Damon, I think Simone, throughout the season, has of course had feelings for Damon, but Simone has kept it respectable because Damon was with Thea. 
So, with that being said, it's crazy because now that, um, well, Damon also has been having feelings for Simone, his feelings. He has not been able to necessarily ignore his feelings that he has for Simone. But now that, you know, Lando is in the picture, they seem to be becoming more prominent and he's seeming to become more jealous as time goes on because I think he can see that Simone is falling for Lando and he doesn't think Lando is a good guy. So, of course, Damon don't want Simone to be with him either. But, um, my thoughts about Simone having feelings for Damon were reassured because when she was talking to Keisha and they were having their conversation in the student union or in the common area, I forget which place they were in, but, oh, they were in the student union because Simone said something to Thea about, um, having boy what she say boy drama or something about being being caught in between the two and Keisha was like in typical Simone fashion exactly in typical Simone fashion Simone's caught in between the two we know Simone won't Damon but as of right now Simone does not know that Thea broke up with Damon okay so now we're gonna slide right into Thea breaking up with Damon number one they were supposed to be having a a romantic getaway weekend but something came around something came up with Brinkston Lions having this deal playing on TV so they had a game that you know just spontaneously came out of nowhere so that kind of just tossed the plans that the and Damon had so Damon this girl approaches Damon and Thea Wider in the hallway and she says that she's reporting she would like to interview Damon come to find out the girl is Damon's ex-girlfriend and I think, y'all, if y'all have ever seen this thumbnail, there's this thumbnail that's been part of Homecoming since the beginning that um, Damon was in bed with this girl. I don't know if that was an old scene that got cut from the show originally or if that still stands, but I think that girl that Damon was in the bed with was his ex-girlfriend, and I think that took place. I think he ended up having relations with that woman after him and Thea broke up. But that's just, you know, my guess. Because I'm like, why else would it keep popping up? Damon didn't sleep with nobody season one that we saw on screen. Number two. um, So Thea insists that Damon meet with his ex-girlfriend, do the interview, and then she also interview because, you know, she's the star tennis player. So she agrees the interview, you know, she the interviewer is talking to Damon, talking about all the stuff he's done. And then when it's Thea's turn, she asks her questions about her recuperation. She asks her questions about her being hurt, injured, and how long it's going to take for her to come back. And, you know, if she'll be able to perform at full, at full pace and everything like that. And so that makes Thea upset. So Thea gets up and leaves. So in the next scene after that, Thea goes back to the room and is in her lingerie in Damon room and she is trying to give herself to Damon and this is where I give kudos to Damon because Damon is a man and if any woman put themselves in front of a man like that most men take the bait Damon could have even though it wouldn't have been nothing because that's what they wanted him to do and well wanted him to do and because they were together Damon could have easily made Thea become a woman at night but Damon, being a gentleman he was, felt like they were going to do that for the wrong reasons. And so he told Thea that he did not want to do that. And that, you know, I think your motives are wrong. I want this to be a special experience because we love each other. Not because you feel threatened by his ex-girlfriend. So Thea, of course, gets mad. And in typical Thea fashion, Thea walks off, runs away. So they don't talk. So then that follows up to the game. Everybody's at the game because this is a big game. This game is being televised. And so Damon is about to make a monumental play. But because I think of racism, the umpire basically provokes Damon. And Damon and Coach Jesse get thrown out of the game. Um, the reporter comes up to Thea. And, you know, apologizes to Thea and tells her that, you know, 
I'm not my same self and I just wanted Damon to realize, boo, 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 you know, typical ex-girlfriend stuff. You know, she overstepped her boundaries for the most part. I mean, all the way to the part, you know, for the most part. She overstepped her boundaries and she apologized to Thea. But the thing is, Thea still got up in typical Thea fashion and ran away. Let me stop. Thea was like, okay, thanks, I gotta go. I ain't gonna say she ran away, but... You know, Thea isn't used to, excuse me, Thea isn't used to dealing with people. She's used to focusing on herself. She's used to always fighting for herself. She's not used to fighting for someone. So when that girl came up to her about Damon, she didn't know how to react. She didn't know how to fight for Damon. Or she, if she did, she tried the best thing she could do, which was to offer herself to him, and he turned her down. So Thea left during the second inning. So then, moving forward, when the game is over, after Damon gets kicked out of the game, Lando ends up saving the game, and um, Damon comes out of the locker room to ask Lando, I mean, to congratulate Lando and to thank him for, you know, he was trying to extend the olive branch, basically. But Damon ends up overhearing a conversation with Simone. My question during that scene was, did, was Damon standing there long enough to hear Lando admit that he released the footage? The footage is... <laughs> <laughs> but he definitely heard, overheard Simone saying, I want to become friends. And I think he felt the way about that because if you saw his face, he just stood there and looked like a deer in the headlights and was like, hmm... Well, have you seen Thea? Because I, I, I've i been looking for her, but I can't find her. And then, um, Simone was like, yeah, Thea left at the second inning. So, afterwards, Damon goes back to his room. Thea's at the door. She's knocking on the door. And Damon opens the door. Thea's in tears, and she was like, good game today or whatever. He was like, oh, well, I don't know how you would know that because you left for the second inning. And she was just like, yeah, I just can't do this no more, basically. She was just like, you're the perfect, she was like, you're a distraction. I'm trying to focus on myself. I'm all about myself. I, I want to do tennis. I mean, it wasn't the way I thought that the breakup was going to happen because I honestly thought Damon was going to break up with Thea. Because of, you know, everything that happened prior to the whole baseball game thing. But Thea basically chose herself and to chose to focus on herself. And then she also admitted to um, Damon about the cortisone shots. So, Thea. Okay, this is where... I kind of got confused where well, stuff didn't just make sense because if, for example, Thea has been taking cortisone shots. Cortisone is not a banned substance and it's not a performance enhanced. It's not a performance enhancing drug. It's a pain steroid. So if Thea was taking cortisone, and they had to test for drugs. Cortisone is not on the list of banned substances. So I'm confused as to why Simone's test came back positive for drug use. If Thea is not taking the banned substance either. I do think something shiesty went down. I don't know if Thea... Switch the P or if Rome did it. One of them two did it. I think it's Rome, but I'm not going to put it past Thea because Thea told Simone in the beginning that she was going to come for her. But I also thought that Simone and Thea had kind of eased back on things because they were speaking again. They weren't speaking terms again. So I don't necessarily know how All American is going with homecoming. Is gone 
wrap this back up, honestly. It's a lot going on. Yes, it's a lot going on, y'all. <sighs> Sorry, I started people watching. <laughs> Forgot I was recording for a minute. But yeah, so. I don't know. I definitely know Simone will go to Damon and tell him. So. Guess we're going to have to see what y'all think. I think that I, for one, was not Team Dia, and I, for one, thought that Dia and Damon were awkward but I didn't think that Dia was gone. I ain't gonna say she broke Damon's heart but Damon wasn't expecting it for sure. So I don't know how they about to do this whole thing with Damon and I feel like Damon and Simone both about to get messy because both of them are trying to, well, probably gonna be trying to get over a breakup and then they gonna end up Probably being together by the end of season two. If they're not together by the end of season two, I'd be surprised. But don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back with more videos. This is.